Hello! It's wonderful to have you back with us for this week's Word for the Day. This is a special message just for our children and their families here at St. Thomas in terms of how we explore the different readings we hear in worship each week. In the season of Lent, we've been exploring the Psalms. The Psalms from the Old Testament are the oldest songs we have in the Bible. They talk about the songs of our hearts, the songs of our mind, what we're thinking and experiencing as we experience life in the world and as we relate to God. So it's really our chance to speak back with what we see God doing and where we see the world going. And this psalm is no different, especially for Palm Sunday as we get ready to welcome someone very special. So, I'll see you just back in a second after I share this week's psalm, taken from Psalm 118. See you in a minute. Psalm 118 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim his mercy endures forever. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you, for you answered me, and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day the Lord has acted. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna, Lord, Send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us. Form a procession with branches up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Wow, once again, Miss Amy's colors that she chooses to illustrate and make these psalms come alive are just wonderful. They're so beautiful, all the choices she's making. And today we get to tell a really real big story with that psalm. I'm here in the church. Perhaps you recognize this window. It's in the back of the church but it actually tells the story in much the same way we have that coloring page from Psalm 118. We see the same figure of a donkey and the figure of Jesus riding in the donkey. But in the window here, we also see some large palm branches and the people lining the streets ready to welcome Jesus. If you've ever welcomed home someone very special to you, perhaps they took a long trip before and you met them at the airport, you almost wanted to have a sign, maybe even made a sign, welcome home. Can you imagine everyone's excitement when they were hearing about Jesus coming into Jerusalem? They wanted to say, welcome. And what did they choose but the words of Psalm 118 that seemed to echo in our hearts and also is the perfect sentiment for the day when we hear Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of God. That is what they're exclaiming. They're shouting out from their loudest voice, their outside voices, and they are trying to get the biggest parade they can imagine. Jesus wants to make clear that this is a different kind of welcome and he wants to make sure this is peaceful and he uses the cult of a donkey. Psalm 118 still captures that sentiment, that spirit, that wonderful feeling that we have. Open the gates of righteousness for the Lord's messenger to come in and I will enter them, says the Lord. Open the gates and I will enter them. Psalm 118 also talks to us about open the gates of our hearts, our lives, and God will enter them 
and come into our life. It's a great psalm. It's a wonderful picture. I can't wait to see what colors you're choosing. And the next time you're in church, look for the story of Palm Sunday and Psalm 818 in this window. I'll see you soon. God bless.